All right, so when I got to the movies this morning to see Labor Day, I checked on Facebook before the movie started, and I noticed the headline, Jesse Eisenberg casted as Lex Luthor, and Jeremy Irons casted as Alfred Pennyworth. Okay, so this sparked a lot of hatred in me at the moment, and um, I didn't think about it at all during the movie. And now I'm noticing everybody on Facebook commenting about it and talking about it. So Lex Luthor is um, – Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor in The Man of Steel 2 or the Batman vs. Superman film, which is released in 2016. This already has a pretty big cast about it going going on, going on for it. And I already, I already assumed that Lex Luthor would be in the second movie. You know, the city is destroyed. They might call upon Lex Luthor to rebuild the city. And now that he wants more than just the city, he wants the city to himself. So I kind of expected Lex Luthor to be the villain because it's a Superman film, so you got to have a Superman villain. But Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor? I understand movies, um, directors trying to take characters into a new different approach. But I just can't see Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. So I thought about it a little bit more. The looks... I don't think don't really fit him you know Lex Luthor's always kind of been like in the movies bald you know in Gene Hackman he was bald and uh, Kevin Spacey he was bald so maybe they'll shave off Jesse Eisenberg's hair I don't know what will go on maybe they'll have hair in the beginning of the movie and then he decides he wants to be a villain so he's like I'm gonna shave my hair to be a villain I don't know what's gonna go on but you know I was thinking a little bit more about Jesse Eisenberg's acting style and he is more of a kind of a dick character he knows how to be a smart ass um you know he's funny at times he he talks really fast and um he's just he's a bit of a smart ass and i think that aspect of jesse eisenberg the smart ass um dickish part of him can be put into lex luther's character um but just the look i'm not convinced on it just yet um i haven't really I've seen most of Jesse Eisenberg's film, but I'm not like a fan of his movies. I've only seen his social network once, Zombieland a couple of times. Um, so he's not my favorite actor, but I just don't care for him that much. I'm just really nervous about this movie now. I, I was on board with Ben Affleck. I'm iffy on the Gal Gadot, if that's how you pronounce her name, as a Wonder Woman. I just think this movie's going to be too jam-packed, you know, I think Batman and Superman was awesome, but jam-packed at itself. Adding Wonder Woman in there, and then having Lex Luthor. I'm glad that they have Alfred. Are they going to have a love interest for Batman? Um, also with Joaquin Phoenix, possibly, in the movie, I've heard. But um, this is just about Jesse Eisenberg. So I'm kind of curious to see what people think about uh, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. Um, definitely um, a what the fuck moment of the day to end the Friday. Uh, I've heard a lot of people on my Facebook. Um, a lot of people um, are in, are angry at this um, cast casting news. Um, some people are like I'm not sure what to believe at the moment. I think it's just too fresh in our mind. Um, it is a couple years away before the movie comes out, so. Once I see start seeing set photos or videos behind the scenes things, I'm I'll let you guys know what I'm thinking about. But right now I'm just not convinced on his looks as Lex Luthor. Or um, he's just too young to be Lex Luthor. I mean, I'm, I know Lex Luthor and um, uh, Superman should be about the same age, but it just Jesse Eisenberg just looks a lot younger than Henry Cavill. Um, I'm not sure how old Jesse Eisenberg is, but he really looks like he's like 24, 25 years old. Um, so comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on Jesse Eisenberg casted as Lex Luthor in the Man of Steel 2 Batman vs. Superman Untitled Project. Um, are you guys excited for it? Um, yay, nay. I'm really curious to see what guys your guys' opinions on this uh, casting news. Um, so this was news released on January 31st, 2014. I checked it around um, 10.30 this morning. 
Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so I don't know how long this news has actually been out there, but definitely crazy news for me. So this is just watching the movies. Please remember to rate, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you later. Bye.